and running and mowing the park. Peterson is the winner. And it's no one getting up, winning it. And they're off. I'm running. Fox is going up. Hey, they're running away. They're going by five minutes. Yeah, Jack in front. Drawing it up. Cougar on the way. It's affirmed. And Lucy just galloping. John Henry keeps rolling along. No chief of strength. Best pal breaks away. So far as all glass. Real quiet with his now along the inside. This is Glad you could join us for Friday Night Racing at Betfair Hollywood Park. Good eight race card, perfect weather, and a big weekend ahead. A grade one stakes doubleheader on Saturday. The Shoemaker Mile and the Triple Bend. Mr. Commons, the favorite for the Shoe Mile. The Factor, the favorite for the Triple Bend. Two grade one stakes on the 10 race card. One o'clock post time on Saturday. First things first, let's get right to the action of Friday Night Racing. Field of eight, six thousand dollar claimers traveled seven furlongs in the opener. Phillies and Mariners for a purse of seventeen thousand dollars. Memo to Kathy looks for back-to-back -back wins. She's a second choice. Indy Beauty, the favorite, even money. Six went seven in the opener. They're up. Memo to Kathy and Lisa Lulu. Lisa Lulu to the front. Sunshine Highway is sharp third. Then comes Indie Beauty and Flashy Traveler, and the trailer is Warren's Mystery. It's Kevin Krieger and Lisa Lulu up the back stretch. Just a half length, though, to Memo to Kathy between horses and Sunshine High three deep. Then it's two lengths to Flashy Traveler in the black. Tugging up after the front runners, Flashy Traveler is racing in fourth and two from the front. Then comes just inside of her. Indie Beauty and the trailer now is Warren's Mystery as they run past the half mile pole. Lisa Lulu trying to go it all the way. Three and a half furlongs from the wire and a half length in front of both Memo to Kathy and to the outside Sunshine High. Indie Beauty has taken over fourth now and she's a sharp fourth. Here comes Indie Beauty after the front runners. Flashy Traveler has now tailed off to fifth and about six from the lead. About to be joined by Warren's Mystery. Top of the stretch three across the track. Memo to Kathy forges to the lead. Memo to Kathy three quarters of a length from Sunshine High in second. Lisa Lulu has backed out of it. Third now and two from the front. Then Indy Beauty, but it's Memo to Kathy and Martin Garcia, the one to catch, and she's three and a half lengths in front now. Indy Beauty just split horses to take second inside of Sunshine High, but Memo to Kathy comes inside the 16th with a solid lead. She's three in front. Indy Beauty second, Sunshine High third. Memo to Kathy. Memo to Kathy, one by two. Indy Beauty second, Sunshine High third. Warren's Mystery got fourth. Back to back wins for this four year old daughter of Gray Memo. Memo to Kathy, trained by Bill Spar, ridden to victory by Martin Garcia, $5.60. Favorite Indy Beauty was second, third, Sunshine High. Trifecta, $15.40. Final time, 127 and 3. Race number two, six and a half furlongs, maiden claimers bred in California, claiming price of $50,000. Number five, Bev and Bud faced open 50 claimers last time, in with the Cowbreds, the two to one choice. Eight went six and a half in race two, Vic Stoffer with the call. They're at the post. They're up. Wow, even start, all eight of them right across the track. We'll just wait until something happens. Chicks Digs the Shark is going to poke ahead in front from Awesome Year at the Rail. Hey, Polly is between horses. Now these three kick on. Then Not a Hobby and a Bev and Bud at the Rail. Full Dancer is next. Pork Chops the trailer. Unusual Mystery was in that first flight. Now drops back to the second flight. So three across the track. Chick Digs the Shark is three deep. Hey, Polly is between horses and Awesome Year is at the Rail. And those three are about a length and a half in front of Bev and Bud, who is running strongly fourth at the rail, but nowhere to go right now. Not a hobby going to be four wide at the quarter pole. Unusual Mystery and Full Dancer have only three lengths to make up, and the trailer is Pork Chop. Four lengths first to last as they run around the far turn to the quarter pole. Awesome Year narrowly in front. Here comes a five wide run from Full Dancer in the center of the racetrack, and Full Dancer stretches out, but comes all the way to challenge the lead and take the lead. Full Dancer with a sweeping move at the top of the stretch is now two in front. Awesome Year just lost second to Bevan Budd who moves through at the rail, then not a hobby in pork chop, but Full Dancer made that big move at the quarter pole and it's gonna put him in the winner's circle. Full Dancer and Brees Blanc, yes. Full Dancer won by better than two and a half. Bevan Budd was second, Awesome Year third, close for fourth, not a hobby in pork chop. 
Full dancer makes his second career start, a winning one for owner breeder Barbara Kelly. Leonard Powell, the winning trainer, Brees Blanc aboard, $12.40. Favorite Bevan Bud's second best third was awesome year. Early double, 34.80. Final time, 118 and 2. We'll take a time out, come back with the Friday night pick six. Bet Fair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World-class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Bet Fair Hollywood Park. Back with Friday night's third race, seven furlongs a distance, maiden claimers, claiming price of $20,000. A couple of class droppers took most of the action. Number three, AP Corsair at two to one, and dropper I Feel Free for Doug O'Neill, the choice at seven to five. 11 won seven furlongs in race number three. They're up. Good start for I Feel Free. And Yard Dog, also very quick into stride, is Cola de Mezzo, and Cola de Mezzo is going to have the early lead. Then comes AP Corsair and Mr. Cappuccino. Dine again is between horses. No looking back is next. Then Corn Maze and Change Order. Out of Splash, and the trailer is Destino. AP Corsair rides the rail for D-Flow and takes over the lead. AP Corsair now a length and a quarter in front of Cola de Mezzo in second, the same margin. Yard Dog pushed along by Maldonado, third now and about four from the front. Then comes Dine Again, Mr. Cappuccino, and I Feel Free. All three of them trying for the same spot. One of them might have to get out of there. Then it's three back to No Looking Back, and it was Dine Again who was shuffled just a bit. Corn Maze is nine from the front, then Destino and Out of Splash, and the trailer is Change Order, and the leader is AP Corsair. AP Corsair to the quarter pole with a solid two and a half length lead now over Cola de Mezzo in second. It's three to I Feel Free in third. Then the outside, the whip is out on Yard Dog, followed by Out of Splash, top of the stretch, AP Corsair. Well off the rail, but still solidly in front. It's a two length lead. Cola de Mezzo trying to cut into that margin and doing just that. I Feel Free goes with Cola de Mezzo, and now AP Corsair is challenged and passed by Cola de Mezzo, who takes over the lead. I feel free, AP Corsair, Destino Lake, Cola de Mezzo wins. First win at Hollywood Park for jockey Juan Hernandez. Well done, Juan. Cola de Mezzo won by two. Close for second, third, and fourth. A number of firsts in race number three. First lifetime win for Cola de Mezzo, a gilded son of Calf Wayne, scores in his sixth lifetime start. First win at Hollywood Park for jockey Juan Hernandez. First win at Hollywood Park for trainer Armando Cardenas. All first-timers, Cola de Mezzo at a nice price, $13.60. I Feel Free and AP Corsair rounded out that trifecta. Pick three, $176 even. Final time, $127 flat. On to race number four in a Friday night program, a mile and 116, $16,000 claimers in a field of eight. Scratch number one, Mega Ride. Favorite, the big gray gilding. Morgan Nuska looks for his third straight win. First time for Terry Knight, the 5 to 2 post time favorite. Vic Stoffer with the call of race four. They're off. Ziggy Stardust has asked for speed. So is Ultimate Decision, who's absolutely quarter horse through from the inside. Ultimate Decision is going to make the lead and be hard sent to get there. Ziggy Sardas now second, Matt Omondo is third, Morgan Uska's on the move, and there goes Morgan Uska all the way up into second, and he and Ultimate Decision are going to set a fast pace. Big son of a gun drafts through at the rail. Evening Island and Hasty Trend are next, and the early trailer is cause. Morgan Uska is outside of Ultimate Decision, and Morgan Uska now going to make the lead for Chantal. Had to work to get to that point in a length and a quarter in front of Ultimate Decision. Matt Omondo is third and two from the front. Big Son of a Gun and Hasty Trend both have four lengths to make up. Ziggy Stardust is five and a half from the front, just outside of him, Evening Island, and Cause is at the back of the pack. Seven lengths, first to last, and the gray Morgan Nuska takes them up the backstretch, but here comes Ultimate Decision for another dose of it. He's going to go through and try to challenge again, and Morgan Nuska is about to get two challenges from the outside. The first one is Matt Mondo, and there he goes all the way up, and we're going to have a new leader leaving the backstretch. Matt Mondo takes it over. 
from Morgan Uska, who's back in second. Hasty Trend is third. Ultimate Decision drops back again. This time he's gone. Then comes Evening Island, followed by Big Son of a Gun. Ziggy Stardust and Cause, and Matt Omondo made an early move, but he's in front at the quarter pole and two lengths to the good. Hasty Trend coming after him in second. Then comes Evening Island to the outside. Morgan Uska drops out of it, and Hasty Trend is the new leader now. Matt Omondo is out of gas. Evening Island is the danger. Big Son of a Gun's at the rail. Hasty Trend leaves. It is Evening Island on the outside, Big Son of a Gun into third, Hasty Trend, Evening Island, Big Son of a Gun, Hasty Trend a length in front, Evening Island second, Hasty Trend in front. Hasty Trend one length and a quarter. Evening Island was second, Big Son of a Gun third, Ziggy Stardust finished fourth. Small barn having a good meet. Victor Fernandez, three wins from 21 starters. First off the claim for the six-year-old gelding, one for $8,000, jumps up in class and scores nicely. S1 floors up, $10.80. Long shots, Evening Island and Big Son of a Gun completed that trifecta, good for $5.92.80. Two claims, Morganuska, five-way shake to Bill Morey. Number eight, Evening Island to Jeff Mullins, both those claims for $16,000. Final time, 146 and one. We'll take a timeout, come back with the late pick four. Bet Fair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World-class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Pet Fair Hollywood Park. Pick four time, Friday night's fifth race, a maiden race for California breads, one mile on the turf. Number seven, Passionville from the Bobby Troger Barn, the nine to five second choice. Add a girl, Meadow, the favorite at eight to five. Scratch number nine, appetizing. Fixed off with all the action of race number five. They're at the post. They're off. Slow start for Warren's My Queen. She lunged towards the gate just before they strung it and then was backing up. Sabella wins the break and goes for the front from Attagirl Meadow. P Passionville's right between those two, and Attagirl Meadow is caught out very wide. Then Palace of Wisdom and Scientific with Big Mama's Driving and Von Ez and the slow start as Warren's My Queen at the back of the pack. Sabella's the leader to the back stretch and leads three quarters of a length from Passionville, who tracks smartly in second. Palace of Wisdom races in a third. Scientific is midfield, and in the middle, it's Attagirl Meadow, and there goes Attagirl Meadow up into fourth now, now to take third and two from the front. Then comes Big Mama's driving, and Rachel Goodgame in the red at the rail, five off the lead. Von Ez has six lengths to make up. And Warren's My Queen is the trailer past the half-mile pole. Still Sabella, but now Passionville comes to put pressure on. Sabella only leads by a neck. Passionville is second by two lengths, too. Palace of Wisdom and Adam Girl Meadow still poised for the drive. Palace of Wisdom stays at the rail. Adam Girl Meadow is going to go three wide. Von Ez is moving up. Passing horses going to be four wide turning for her home, but Von Ez has a chance in the black and green. Scientific is next. Big Mama's driving and Warren's My Queen. Sabella still in front. Sabella at the top of the stretch has actually turned away Passionville right now, and Sabella leads by a length. Passionville going to try to run her down and try to re-engage. Then comes out a girl Meadow, but Sabella comes to the final 16th and still leads. It's a length. Passionville going to try once again from the outside. Sabella, Passionville, Sabella, Passionville, Sabella in front just barely. Passionville tried to get by, but couldn't. Sabella hung on and won. Attagirl Meadow third, and Vanez fourth. Apprentice Vinny Bednar and leading man Rafael Bejarano battle it out to the wire. Passionville makes one final lunge at the long shot Sabella, but can't get there. Sabella, Dan Dunham, owned by Pacific Coast Thoroughbreds, bred in California, ridden by Vinny Bednar, 51-40 to kick off the late pick four. Passionville second and third was the favorite at a girl meadow. Pick four, $4,648.20. Pick five, almost $15,000 a copy. Final time, 138 flat. On to the start of the final pick three, race number six, a tough cow red allowance race. Phillies and mares at six furlongs, a purse of $52,000. Number one, this means war for Dean Pedersen, the six to five choice coming off a big maiden win. Roar Baby Roar makes her first start of the year. She was stakes placed as a two-year-old. She's a second choice at nine to five. Seven went six in race six. They're off. This means war is stride slow. 
Roar, baby, roar, very fast. Mary Contrary trying to deny her the rail. Roar, baby, roar, though, can pick the path and leads by two. Mary Contrary is second. Lucky Vic. Easy goes by and you can dream. Carrie Rose is in and amongst horses, and this means war at the back of the pack at the rail. It is Roar Baby Roar up the back stretch, a length and a quarter in front of Mary Contrary, three quarters of a length to Lucky Vic and You Can Dream. You Can Dream's about to take third and two from the front, and she's on the move. Lucky Vic now up joined and passed by This Means War. Carrie Rose is tightly between horses. Easy goes by is four wide, three by four, se separated by three at the top of the stretch. It is Roar Baby Roar, Mary Contrary. And to the outside, you can dream. These three across the track. Easy goes by. Makes it four. And at the rail, this means war. Boy, is that tight for her. This means war in a super tight spark. Carrie Rose is next. And Lucky Vic, you can dream, has the lead. Easy goes by to the outside. These two inside the final 16th. You can dream. Easy goes by. You can dream. Tough. Easy goes by. You can dream. Wow, what a professional race mare she is. You can dream beats, easy goes by. Close for third, this means Warren Carey Rose. What a nice mare this is. You Can Dream has now won four of ten starts in 2012, banged out over $100,000 in earnings. Agapito Delgadillo board for trainer Rafael De Leon. In her career, she's nine for 41. Six-year-old mare bred in Kentucky, a daughter of Cat Dreams. $16 even to win. Long shot easy goes by, finished second. That made a nice exacta, $109.40. Tight photo for the show. That nod went to This Means War. Final time, 111 and 4. We'll take a break. Come back with a 7. Bet Fair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Bet Fair Hollywood Park. Back with Friday Night's seventh race, a mile and three sixteenths on the turf, three rolls and up, a claiming price of $25,000. Quail Hill looks for back-to-back -back wins, the second choice at 3-1. to one. Imponente Purse was third in last year's Sunset, now entered for a $25,000 tag as the favorite at 5-2. to two. Scratch to 5, Isle of Prado, Vic Stauffer with the call of the Marathon, featured seventh race. They're at the post. They're off. Quail Hill and Arcadoro break fastest. Quail Hill at the rail with the lead. Easy lead in the centers on the move. Jerzino and Imponente purse, then Wild Revenge, and the early trailer is seeking solace. It will be Quail Hill and Arcadoro 1-2 with one lap to go. Quail Hill's a neck in front. Arcadoro is second by two lengths as Easy Lead drafts in a good spot and gets to the rail. Well done. Easy Lead now two from the lead. Jerzino and Imponente Purse are fourth and fifth with four to come. The Seeking Solace is out of last place. He's six lengths behind, and the trailer now is long shot Wild Revenge as they round the clubhouse turn and head to the back stretch in the first half of the late double. Quail Hill is the leader. A neck in front of Arcadoro, who turns up the heat just a bit. Quail Hill only ahead. Arcadoro now pretty much right alongside. Easy lead, getting a perfect trip and a good ride from Jose Valdivia Jr. He races third and two from the front. Jerzino and Gutierrez just outside of him. Then seeking solace and Imponente Purse. They are five lengths from the front, and the trailer is Wild Revenge. There's now less than a half mile left to run. Quail Hill and Arcadoro. Quail Hill continues to lead. It's a half length now to Arcadoro in second. Easy Lead continues to track, but Jerzino has moved up past him. And here comes Jerzino up into third, and he's a length and a half from the front. Easy Lead is back at the rail in fourth. He's joined by Seeking Solace. Then Imponente Purse needs a way through. Wild Revenge top of the stretch, and Quail Hill is the leader. He's put away Arcadoro for the time being. Jerzino's in the center, and here he comes. Drifts out. Out just a bit. Outside of those two is Seeking Solace. Quail Hill still in front. Jerzino trying to run him down in the final 16th. Here comes Jerzino. Easy lead dives through at the rail and Imponente Purse. But still Quail Hill turns them all away. Imponente Purse. Quail Hill. Quail Hill beat Imponente Purse. Easy lead third and Jerzino fourth. 
Back-to-back -back wins for this son of candy ride, Quail Hill for David Hoffman's Alonzo Quinone's score is at $8.60. Imponente Purse was second and third, easy lead. Pick three over a thousand bucks, two claims. The winner, Quail Hill, seven way shake to Robertino Diodoro. Number eight, easy lead, the third place finisher to Jack Van Berg in a two way, both claims for 25,000. Final time, a pedestrian, 157 flat. Eighth and final closed out the Friday night festivities. Seven furlongs, maiden claimers, claiming price of $20,000 and a purse of $19,000. Big field of 11 lined up for this one. An equipment change on the eighth. Big man in town adds the blinkers. Horse on the rail, visionary man, the favorite at two to one. Horse on the outside, at two walker, the second choice at five to two. Eighth and final on Friday night. They're at the post. They're off. Very slow start for Caranto. Big man in town and Warren's Wasco's son, Etu Walker, is close up. Then ruling force and Swiss Emperor in the mix, looking mighty tough, makes it six across the track early. Visionary man races in seventh. Then comes Tonjero and side pocket kid, Willie Brown, and the slow start for Caranto has him at the back of the pack. They mix it up up front, and ruling force moves through inside of Swiss Emperor. Big man in town and a four-wide et two walker. These four pass the half-mile pole. Visionary man and Bejarano in the perfect spot, tracking from fifth and about two and a half off the lead, looking mighty tough alongside him. Tanjero races next, about eight from the lead. Warren's Wasco's son has ten to come. Side pocket kid begins his run. He is 11 behind. Then comes Cor Rento and the trailer now is Willie Brown who's dropped out at two Walker clears off at the top of the stretch at two Walker a two length lead from Swiss Emperor in second visionary man rallies in the center then comes ruling force and side pocket kid who's closing so is Tanjero but at two Walker has a three length lead side pocket kid is running up outside of visionary man and as a team they're coming after at two Walker and they've caught him Side pocket kid, visionary man, Tanjero up into third, side pocket kid. Side pocket kid beat visionary man, Tanjero finished third, Etu Walker fourth, and Caranto, that's the one that got left, rallied for fifth and is galloping out nicely. Three Friday nights ago, side pocket kid had a very tough trip, probably was best. Clear sailing tonight and he scores in his 15th lifetime start. Owned and bred by Tony Sardo, Don Warren, S. Swan Floor is a winning combination, $14.20. Visionary Man was second, 29 to 1 long shot, got up for third, that was Tangero. Trifecta paid nice, $550.90. There was a claim in the race, Et Two Walker to Doug O'Neill in a two-way shake. Super high five, one ticket, $26,000 in change. Late pick four paid well, $5,264 and a quarter. Pick six, nobody had it. Carryover for Saturday, just over $70,000. Five out of six, $2,743.80. In to place pick all, perfect tickets good for $3,289.20. One scratch on the Saturday card in the sixth race to Triple Bend Handicap. Scratch number eight, comma to the top. He's entered back in Sunday's curlin. Once again, that pick six, carryover $70,427. That's a wrap for Friday Night Racing at Betfair Hollywood Park. Back up and running on Saturday, 10 races, two grade one stakes, a triple bend and a shoemaker mile, part of a very good 10 race program, first post at 1 o'clock. Until then, for track announcer Vic Stoffer, I'm Kurt Hoover. See you back soon at Betfair Hollywood Park.